In this video about introduction to language acquisition, we will talk about two topics which includes introduction to language development and stages of language development. Introduction to language development One of the most important issues in the study of language development is a concrete explanation as to how people obtained language abilities. Philosophy has produced two contrasting views on how humans obtain knowledge. The rationalists such as Plato and Descartes maintained that certain fundamental ideas are innate, that is, they are present from birth. On the other hand, the empiricists such as Locke and Hume rejected this doctrine of innate ideas, maintaining that all knowledge is derived from experience. Among the most influential work of the empiricists was that of Locke. Locke argued that all knowledge held by the rationalist to be innate could be acquired through experience. According to Locke, the mind at birth is tabula rasa, a blank sheet of paper upon which sensations write and determine future behavior. The rationalist empiricist controversy is alive today. It is often called the nature-nurture debate. Chomsky's work in general and his views on language acquisition are very much in the rationalist camp and it is easy to see strong empiricist threads in Piaget. Piaget argued that cognitive structures themselves are not innate, but can arise from innate dispositions. Behaviorists who argued that language was entirely learned are clearly empiricists. Although we must be wary of simplifying the debate by trying to label contrasting views as rationalist or empiricist, the questions of which processes are innate and which processes must be in place for language to develop are fundamental importance. Nevertheless, we must not forget that behavior ultimately results from the interaction of nature and nurture. Work in connectionism has focused attention on the nature of nurture and the way in which learning systems change with experience. Stages of Language Development Although there is a clear progression in the course of language development, it is contentious whether or not discrete stages are involved. Let us begin with a brief outline of language development. Children are not born silent. Of course, they make what are known as vegetative sounds from the beginning. They cry and burp and make sucking noise. Around six weeks of age, they start cooing. And from about 16 weeks old, they start to laugh. Between 16 weeks and six months, they engage in vocal play. This involves making speech-like sounds. Vowels emerge before consonants. From about the age of six to nine months, Infants start bubbling. Bubbling is distinguished from vocal play by the presence of true syllables, consonants plus vowels, often repeated. Around this time, the infant might start noticing that particular strings of sounds co-occur with particular situations. For example, whenever the sound mommy are heard, mother is there. Children start producing their first words around the age of 10 or 11 months. The single words are sometimes thought of as forming single word utterances. 
Around the age of 18 months, there is a rapid explosion in vocabulary size, and around this time, two word sentences emerge. This vocabulary explosion and the onset of two word speech are strongly correlated. At this point, children may be learning 40 new words a week. Before children produce utterances that are grammatically correct by adult standards, they produce what is called telegraphic speech. Telegraphic speech contains a number of words but with many grammatical elements absent. As grammatical elements appear, they do so in a relatively fixed order for any particular language. From the age of approximately 2 years, 6 months, the child produces increasingly complex sentences. Grammatical development carries on throughout childhood, and we never stop learning new words. It has been estimated that the average young teenager is still learning over 10 new words a day. The following are the detailed developmental milestones of an infant on the following aspects. Motor and language development. Infant speech perception Infant speech production Infant syntax perception Infant syntax production. Infant semantics. And that ends this presentation. Thank you and do not forget to like and subscribe on this channel.